I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. Today we're checking out a compact portable line array system for live sound. Let's get started. This is the Bose F1 system. There actually are two components here. The top is the Bose F1812 and the bottom is the Bose F1 sub. The two of them work together to give you full range sound that's very flexible and can be adapted to the venue that you're playing in. The F1812, the top module, features eight two and a quarter inch speakers inside the front here, and those are arranged into a line array. Now typically you see line arrays in larger venues. Big systems are typically going to those because they allow for great coverage and control over what's getting out to the audience. And now we have that capability in a live sound situation in smaller venues as well. That's where the 812 comes in. So we have these eight speakers aligned in a row here, and behind them we have a single 12 inch speaker. There's a total of a thousand watts driving those nine speakers. On the bottom we have the F1 sub. Now this is a 2x10 design. It also features 1000 watts and it can be run either full range or it can provide high pass filtering to run in full range system along with the 812. There's plenty of connectivity on the back of the 812 module. The first input allows us to run either mic level signals, so you can plug a microphone straight into this speaker, or you can run line level signals in and that's typically how you'd use it when you're using a mixer in a live sound situation. We also have RCA and quarter inch inputs for running a music player through the system. We have an EQ switch that allows us to adjust the tonality of the speaker where we're using it with a subwoofer or without a subwoofer. Finally, we have a switch for determining the function of the front panel LED. Now that can be set to show us when power is on on the speaker. It can also be set to show us when the speaker is going into limiting when we're pushing it too hard. And you can turn that off so you don't have any LED glowing on the front panel if you prefer not to see it. On the back of the subwoofer, we have two XLR inputs for line level signals and two XLR throughs which would feed up to the 812 module when it's connected. We have a level control and a switch for determining whether we're running full range with the sub, which takes it up to about 250 hertz, or if we're running a high pass filter system, we're running it up and sending the highs into the top speaker module. A couple of really great things about the F1 system. First of all, it's very lightweight. We're looking at less than 60 pounds for each of these two speakers, which is very lightweight considering the amount of power and the amount of sound that they produce. The subwoofer also includes the speaker stand, so you don't need a separate speaker mounting pole to use it with this, and that drops right down into the speaker for easy transport. We can also configure the coverage pattern of the 812. Now this is important because most bands play in a variety of different venues. One day you might be set up on the floor and playing to an audience that's directly in front of you. Then you might be in a situation where you have rake seating in front of you where the audience is on bleachers or on seats that are rising above you. And in another you might be up on a stage and the audience is actually below you. The 812 can cover all those situations. As we're configured right now, this is the way you would set the speaker if you're on the floor and the audience is right in front of you. Most of the sound is projecting straight forward. But in many situations, a band or a speaker or wherever you're using the PA system might be above the audience, say on an elevated stage. In that case, you can actually push in and the bottom of the array will line itself so that more sound is dispersed downward. This allows you to have good throw yet still get good coverage on the audience members that are seated below the stage. We also can configure the F1812 for when we're in front of rake seating, when the audience is in bleachers or slightly above you. In that case, you would put this back to straight, push in on the top, and now we're getting good throw vertically as well as sound that's going straight out into the audience. And finally, you may be in venues where you have both situations, where you have some audience members that are elevated, some straight in front of you, and some that are below. In that case, you can push in both, and now we get good dispersion vertically, we're sending some down below, as well as straight forward, so we're getting a nice broad coverage pattern. The other great thing about this is that the 812 automatically adjusts its EQ to compensate for when we're turning these speakers like this. So it maintains a very consistent sound quality, no matter the dispersion pattern that you've selected. I've had the opportunity to hear the F1 system in a variety of different situations. First of all, I saw it when it was just a prototype at the Bose headquarters when they were demonstrating the function and the, uh, the idea behind the speakers. And I was also at an event where they launched this speaker where they had a band playing in a large club. Since then, I had a chance to see an eight-piece band playing through a set of these in a smaller club where they were working basically on the floor with the audience. What I found is that no matter where you're using the F1, it sounds great. There's plenty of bottom end delivered by the subwoofer, and with that top, you can really tailor the dispersion, yet the sound is nice and smooth. There's no hype top end, it's not harsh. You get good throw, smooth, rich, round sound that really gives you a lot of detail, very high fidelity. If you're looking for a live sound speaker system that's extremely flexible, has plenty of power to cover a variety of venues, also can adjust the dispersion pattern, has all the benefits of that line array design, you definitely want to check out the F1 system from Bose. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute. I'm Mitch Gallagher.